Hey everyone, I'm Big John, and welcome to another episode of the Diz Ability Show, this week coming from my RV. Now, before we get started, uh, right now, first of all, I think our, our, hearts should go, our hearts go out to the families who have lost their loved ones to 9-11 to attacks 20 years ago today. For all of you who have lost a friend or loved one during that disgusting act of violence, we here, everyone here at the Big John Network, as well as the Disney fan community, sends our hearts and love out to all of you during this difficult day of remembrance. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. Now, this week, I want to talk to you about now, backpacking tips. So when we go to the parks... We always need to be prepared for anything. So, it's always a good idea to bring a backpack with you to, with all the stuff that you will need for your day in the parks. So, like, for example, snacks that we've talked about last week. That is very important, especially if you have blood sugar issues or anything like that, as well as drinks. And that is a very that is a must to put in your backpack. Also, make sure or you have a uh, stuff to keep you busy while you wait in line, like your phone and your tablet and some games, anything to keep keep you busy. For those of you who have seen our my on location tip about what ha what to do when a right egg breaks down when you're in line for it. Not another good thing to bring is. Putting your backpack as a jacket just in case it gets cool out. Because on days like especially in uh, January, February, March, April, those are days when the weather can be a little kooky. So it, it would be a good idea to wear to to bring a jacket with you to keep yourself warm or a sweater even. Another good idea to bring it because it does rain a lot during. Sometimes, most of the days during the summer in Florida, it does rain. So make sure you bring a rain jacket or an umbrella or a poncho, which my mom always puts in her backpack, whether it's raining or if if she doesn't want to get completely wet on Collie River Rapids. Uh, and also make sure... Or, there's nothing glass in the metal detectors. They they will check for anything glass and metal or metal in front of at the metal detectors in front of the parks. But besides that, make sure you have everything you need to survive a day at the parks. So as anyway, that's my tip. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions on how to do Disney for people with disabilities. And I'll make sure it gets into a future episode. And now it's time for this week's top five. So we have a whole lot of, so anyway, we have a lot of amazing, Disney has so many great characters, right? You got Mickey Mouse, Donald, Goofy, the, the, some of the Disney characters that we all know and are very appreciated. However, there are some that haven't been getting as much love as they used to. Or have them getting as much love as they deserve. So, this week, we're going to talk about the top five, my top five underrated Disney characters. So, number five, Jiminy Cricket. Now, back in the, back in the go, back in the old days, Jiminy Cricket used to be everywhere. He, he used to be. Not just in Pinocchio, he was also in Disney sing-along videos. He was also host of the uh, movie Fun and Fancy Free. Look it up; it's on Disney Plus. It's a great movie, and but and he also used to be the narrator for uh, for for Wishes, the fireworks show at the former fireworks show at the Magic Kingdom, and and since since that went away, uh, there we haven't seen much of Jiminy Cricket in either movies or parks and. And and we hope that uh, we he comes back in any shape or form, probably in 
in the upcoming Pinocchio live action remake, which I don't know is still happening or not, but who knows? Um, anyway, number four, Pocahontas. Now, Pocahontas is... She was... Pocahontas, of course, was Disney's very first animated movie that was based on an actual person. And, of course, Pocahontas is one of the uh, lesser-known Disney princesses. But she was... And right now, she's lesser-known now because... People are, as a Native American, Native Americans don't like the how Disney depicted Pocahontas, and people don't like how how Disney had tilted the actual story. But I think I think Pocahontas is is great, and I hope she gets appreciated more often. All right, anyway, number three, Launchpad McQuack. Now, Launchpad, and of course, for all of my fellow uh, ni ni 90s or, and 80s Disney cartoon fans, he was in DuckTales and Darkwing Duck. He, one of the, one of the coolest, funniest characters, one that I probably link myself with, and because of his, sense of humor and his quirkiness and just like how he was in the in the uh the reboot of DuckTales and I hope we see more of Launchpad in the future in both shows and the parks. I right, number two Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Of course for those of you who who are big experts in the Disney community as well as I am as much as I am Oswald was Walt's very first animated character, but when he lost the rights to him, he he got made Mickey Mouse. So now Oswald, of course, net does do meet and greets at Disney's California Adventure. But I I hope we we see more of Oswald in the future. And my number one underrated Disney character, Roger Rabbit. Now Roger was a was a big part of of Disney when when he was after the release of Who Framed Roger Rabbit back in the 80s he of course he has his own ride Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin at Disneyland and Toontown and he he used to be a part of the Mickey Mouse gang and and now we don't, we don't see much of Roger Rabbit except for the ride we don't see much of him in character form anymore I hope we see more of Roger Rabbit in the near future because he is a great character so anyway, let me know in the comments what your favorite underrated Disney characters are. So let's get into some news. So Disney has made some, some, there has been some Disney entertainers have made some big news this week. Uh, this past week over at Give Kids the World in Kissimmee, Florida, there they had a special concert called Diz Family Reunion where former Disney entertainers uh, did a concert and one of their performers, the iconic Yeehaw Bob, announced that he will be returning to Port Orleans October 14th. We, that, and if that wasn't enough news, just yesterday, Scott Kilwin, one of the uh, pian dueling pianists at, over at Jelly Rolls at Boardwalk, announced that Jelly Rolls will also be reopening in mid-October. We don't have a date for that yet. And also, this past week, Disney has announced that they are planning to bring back Candlelight Processional for the Christmas season. So, it hasn't been officially confirmed. Disney has just said that they are planning on bringing it back. I really hope it comes back because you can't have Disney at Christmas without the Candlelight Processional. We didn't have it last year because of the, on, because of the pandemic. But now, now that things are... Getting back to normal. We hope this comes back. And all of these entertainment stuff is huge. Because one step closer to getting our entertainers back. Including the citizens. I'm going to keep saying it until it happens. And and I really like that Disney's bringing back more entertainment. And, 
And you guys should really stay tuned in the next three weeks for when we make a big announcement about some of our past entertainment videos. You don't want to miss that huge announcement coming up. So anyway, that's this week's show. As I said before, let me know in the comments if you have any questions on how to do Disney for people with disabilities. And I'll make sure it gets into a future episode. Now for this week's shout outs, make sure you check out my friend Julie over at Dream to Stream. She does amazing live streams from the parks at least once a week. Even when she is not working at Hollywood Studios, she her her son Gustavo just got married last week at at the Riviera. Uh, I would make sure you join her her Facebook group Dream to Stream so you can congratulate her her family as well as 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 making sure you never miss one of her streams. Also, if, make sure you check out while you're on Facebook. Make sure you give a like. To my friend Kim Colian, She Plants Travel. That's Kim, K-O-L-E-A-N, comma, She Plants Travel. She is an amazing travel agent. She is a mom, She has a son with autism, and she really gets it. She always supports me, and make sure you or you guys check her, her page out. If you have any questions, make sure you contact her. Also, make sure you check out my friend Bethany over at Villains and Vice, she does amazing videos from the parks. Make sure you check her out. As well as my friends Robert and Brandy Sable. They do amazing live streams from Disney and Universal and other parts of Florida. Make sure you guys check them out. And as always, for the latest attraction news, make sure you check out my good friends over at Attractions Magazine. And until next time, have a zippity-doo-dah day.